Now to a major staff shortage at the state attorney's office. Much needed prosecutors are leaving for better paying jobs elsewhere, and this trend could have critical consequences. Local 10's Ian Margold is live now with the details for us. Ian. Right now, the state attorney and, and the public defender's offices here in Miami-Dade say they are losing lawyers at an alarming rate. And the problem is their starting salaries are so low, they're having trouble filling that gap. We're really pitifully, shamefully low. We absolutely need help, and we need help now. In court, Miami-Dade's state attorney and public defender are normally in opposition. But right now, Catherine Fernandez-Rundle and Carlos Martinez are teaming up, pushing for higher wages for their staffs to slow down a stunningly high turnover rate they're both currently experiencing. I've lost over 80 just in the last year. That's the size of any big law firm. I lost 62 lawyers this past fiscal year. This is untenable. The problem, they say, is that caseloads are growing, but starting salaries for their attorneys are well below national average in one of the most expensive areas to live in the country. That means they struggle to attract new employees and their more experienced attorneys are bolting in droves for higher paying gigs, leaving newer, younger lawyers to pick up the slack. I can train them. I can give them the knowledge and the skills that they need, but in reality, experience counts for a tremendous amount of the work that we do, and particularly when you have people's lives in our hands. So now they're turning to the state legislature, asking for enough money to give every person a $10,000 raise to try and help keep the people they have and bring in more. Our lawyers, God love them, they work so hard. They, they chose this job to serve their community, but we shouldn't expect them to take a vow of poverty. All they want is a reasonable living wage to be able to survive in Miami. So right now, both offices have dozens of openings for lawyers and even more for support staff. And the state attorney is actually asking for more than that 10,000. She wants the state to set a minimum, very com right coming in salary of $75,000 thousand dollars starting that way she says she can compete with other cities and bring in the best people to fill those gaps live in miami i'm ian margo local 10 news